Stan Gibalisco here. Uh, I am going to introduce you to a fellow who ought to at least prove entertaining for your viewing. His name is Piers Corbin. He is a British scientist who has come up with a theory, and it appears to be more than just a theory, because it's, ba it's been backed up by some empirical evidence that sunspot numbers drive climate change on planet Earth more than all the emissions in human activity, more than CO2 levels, more than global warming, more than red ants, <laughs> and certainly more than Stan Gibalisco. As all of this progresses, as I uh, generally I get these uh, videos which I will include in a link to the description for this video. I get these videos by looking at suggested additional viewing when I proof watch my own videos and yes as a matter of fact I do proof watch my own videos and I'm going to uh, leave comments open here because I want your opinion on this fellow, uh, if you have one. Is he, what is he, an imposter? Is he a genius? Uh, is he uh, being hired by Stan Gibalisco just to make for uh, huge, huge numbers of hits uh, on his videos, as you can plainly see? That sometimes I get, it, sometimes they spill over into the triple digits. Or could he actually be somebody who has a point and might be onto something that a lot of people don't want to hear, especially those who would love to tax you to death in every way they possibly can in the name of saving the planet. I just got done with a series of videos having to do with James Lovelock who says there's no point in trying to save the planet it's done for whether we've done it in or whether it's done itself in we can forget about trying to do anything about climate change because it's too late this guy says we can forget about doing anything about climate change because we can't compared to that big bright ball in the sky that comes up on clear days like the one we had today in Dakota Territory, United States of Amazement, where I have finally learned that the only true statements on the internet, the only true statement about internet content, is that there exists no true statement about internet content. What? Oh, just go ahead and watch the watch the video in the description to this one and if you feel like it leave a comment just don't tell me what you think of me because I already know until next time pleasant dreams happy winters and so long